defining war means <laughs> war it kills your dreams it kills your future it kills your happiness and it kills all it destroy all your memories and places you used to go when you are a little child but after I left this world it means something more more painful why we can just stop it I think this was a marvellous afternoon, it was so well attended and so informative about the problem of the arms trade, but also with that incredible human touch from uh, really somebody who had first-hand knowledge of Yemen. So overall, I think it was a, a great achievement and I would really congratulate the people who organised it. I think the most important thing to bear in mind is that when we see things like British arms sales into the conflict in Yemen, which not only violates British law, EU agreements, UN agreements, um, but it's also directly involved in the death of tens of thousands of civilians. We mustn't lose sight of the fact that there are multiple people who are making huge amounts of money out of this. And this includes the executives of the arms companies and our politicians and people closely associated with them. And it is not only individuals, but also political parties. And if we lose sight of this economic dimension, of the arms trade, for the actual decision makers in the trade, we lose something that is at the center of, that is part of the essence of the nature of the global arms trade. I would like the British people to know that the British government are selling the arms to Saudi Arabia that is affecting and killing the Yemeni people. And as a British citizen, we have a duty to question that on its ethical grounds. So my point is, if you're going to listen to what was said today, I want you to leave this room having decided to do at least one thing. One thing. But there are so many things you can do. You never know quite what that impact will be.